Right, polyamides. Last lesson we looked at polyesters, so it's always making an ester group. Today we're going to look at polyamides. We know this is going to be very similar to when we've looked at amino acids and building up peptides throughout amino acids. Amides, we said, contain the R, C double bond O, N, H, and then another R group. So they're going to have that group in. But it's going to be a polyamide. So in order to start with that, I'm going to start with a diacid and a diamine. And we're going to link them all up together. So polyamides we use to make a polyamide. We can use, you can do this in different ways, this is just one way. We can use a dicarboxylic acid, so that's in a similar way to polyesters, and a diamine. Yeah, absolutely, you can do that. So, and that's how we did uh, peptides, using alpha amino acids, because they did have, didn't they? They had a carboxylic acid, and they had an amine group there. So we've done that when we do this. So we're going to do this, um, that's like the building up peptides. We're going to look in the simplest case of just using a dicarboxylic acid and a diamine. So the peptide is a polyamide. Yeah. Um, that is an amide. That's my amide group there. So if you see that in a molecule, that is an amide group. C double bond O, NH is right, your amide group. Polyamide. So we are going to do uh, the first one, which is a polymer called Kevlar. Like, please, Kevlar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Should we do Kevlar and then we'll do Nylon? So, example one. <laughs> this is a beautiful molecule. <laughs> beautiful. So, we need two colours at least. Maybe three. We're going to get excited. <laughs> so, here we go. We're going to start off with a dye. Carboxylic acid, like so. So it's a benzene ring with a dicarboxylic acid, and we're also gonna we're gonna add to that a benzene ring, which is now a diamine. So you've got two of those. Yeah, let's do a couple more, shall we? So let's do another one of these boys. You could fit more in if you did them up, if you did them the other way round. Oh, thanks. Good thoughts. <laughs> thanks for your feedback. <laughs> Not sarcastic at all. I would take notes. <laughs> <laughs> and what? Oh, no, she put me off and I've done it in the red. So baby baby ring at the end. So we're going to join these up. So we join them up in the same way as before. So maybe I'll just change. This around to show you NH. Um, I eliminate water again for these guys. So if I show, I'm going to draw these H's here just to make it clear. So, they go. so the way we do it is we take away water. Remember, we did this when we did peptides, you eliminate water. So the OH and the H go to give me water. The OH and the H go here as well to give me water. 
I had the same thing going on there to give me water. And then I'm also going to remove the H from that one and the OH from that one as well to give me water. Every time I make an amide bond, I make water. So we need to draw these out now. That OH is gone, so you just end up with it being a line. Does it matter which one the H is and the N? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Okay. Mm -hmm. it doesn't matter at all. So, you end up with a lovely polymer with lots of benzene. Uh, well, because it's um, very, very hard, um, and so bullets don't go through it. Wait, do they bounce off, or do they get stuck in it? Um, I think they, uh, well, they bounce off, but they impact, they and it hard. stops it. Yeah, they can still freeze you and stuff. So, key things to remember that people forget is you've got an H coming off this nitrogen. Remember, nitrogens have to have three bonds, so just make sure you've got that because so people forget that. nitrogen that bonds? Nitrogen, C double bond O, nitrogen that goes. That's where people go crazy. Uh, but you have all these lovely benzene rings all lined up together, and don't forget, you've got your bonds going off here, your bonds <laughs> going off there. And for this example, I would make plus four H2O, just based on that every time you make a peptide. Shall I just highlight this here? These are my peptide bonds. So whenever C joins to an N? Yeah, I get a, a water. 